Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, about uh, 6, uh, 7.30, June 22nd, 2011. So I got a bit of a cold, so hopefully you can hear me clearly, because I don't think I can hear myself so clearly, <laughs> but that's not the first time. Anyway, today let's talk about double and triple tonguing. Uh, I think uh, double and triple tonguing are necessary unless you have a really fast single tongue. Maybe the fastest single tongue I've ever heard is uh, Glenn Fishtel. Glenn and Tony Plogue and myself used to play in the San Antonio Symphony together many years ago. And it was a great trumpet section, as you can imagine, a lot of fun. We had some good times, uh, but I remember Glenn's single tongue was so fast that he didn't have to use the double tongue as much as uh, I did, and because uh, I have a fairly slow single tongue. And so uh, here are my thoughts on double and triple tonguing. Uh, first of all, let the air do the work as much as possible. Uh, number two, keep the tongue stroke as short as possible. Uh, let's see, let the air do the work. Uh, and when you go faster, I found it helpful to use instead of tuku, 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 uh, to use dugu, 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 dugu. But when you're starting off on double and triple tonguing, uh, to uh, think it's like a magician. I, I enjoy magic and I remember when I was practicing magic, you would practice magic, first of all, actually doing the real thing, letting the coin drop into your hand, and the second thing would be to practice without letting the coin drop into the hand, so it looked as if the coin was dropping in your hand. In other words, when you're double-tonguing, learning how to double-tongue, first single-tongue four notes, then when you double-tongue, what I like to do to teach the double-tongue is start with a K. Coo, coo. And get that as much as possible, the coo sound to sound like the two sound. The second step that I usually do teaching and playing double tonguing is to use a backwards double tongue, like a coo, two. And then the last way is to use a regular double tongue, two, coo. and get all of them as much as possible to sound similar. But when I go faster, if I use just a tuku 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 tuku, it sounds a little bit choppy. Other people I know do tukus and make it sound just fine, but for me I found out that if I smooth the tongue out a little bit and use a dugu sound, I can go a little faster. And I also feel like the air is doing the work uh, when I use that. And the triple tongue is the same way. You'll start off with all Ks, then maybe coo, coo, two, coo, coo, two. And then gradually, as that gets stronger, practice two, two, coo, two, two, coo. And at first, it's also really important to get a strong coo sound. You even exaggerate it. To make sure you get enough kick on that coo. So when you're going faster, the other, the end goal is, of course, to get all the notes to sound the same, whether you're single or double. And some of the best exercises for double and triple tonguing, uh, I like my book, uh, the Bing book, the first one that I published, and it's now out of print. And uh, I'll have to get that up on my webpage one of these days, and uh, do that just as a free service. It's got some. Good things in double and triple tonguing, I think. But uh, the Clifford Lilia book, uh, Clifford Lilia was my first teacher and a wonderful person and a great teacher. And he had some great double and triple tonguing studies that I still remember to this day very clearly. And they were a great help to me in double and triple tonguing. I know Alan Vizzuti has some great double, triple tonguing studies, Tony Plogue's books, etc., etc., etc. Please forgive me if I leave your book out. But uh, I know there's lots of great books out there that have double and triple tonguing studies. So... Uh, double and triple tonguing is an absolute necessary part of the trumpet player's repertoire. It's not that hard, and it's fun, and I highly recommend uh, you incorporate that into your routine as much as possible on a daily basis. So I uh, hope uh, you found this helpful, and uh, that you're having a great day, and uh, that you're enjoying these trumpet talks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.